Hey, welcome one. Welcome to the other two of you. Glad to see you here. I'm John Zadar. I am the host of On Top and Hot, and this is Tuesday, April 9th. Now, what I do on this show is to share information with you on hot penny stocks. I trade penny stocks. These are stocks under five bucks that you can find on any market. And I'm constantly looking for stocks that have heat, that have the potential to make us money. And at the end of the day, I share one with you. Well, yesterday I changed things up a little bit. I didn't bring you a hot penny stock. What I did was to show you one of the ponds I fish in for my hot penny stocks. It's kind of like that old cliche. Give a man a fish, feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish, feed him for life. And that's really what I'm interested in, showing you where I'm finding these hot penny stocks. Now, yesterday we were looking at press releases about patents, companies getting patents. And we noticed out of 11 press releases over the last two weeks, seven of them took gains. That is over 70% of companies with news about patents taking gains. That's a strong arena to monitor. Another one are warrants. Hey, where are you going? Sit down. Look, don't be scared of warrants. There's nothing tricky about them. They are stock like any other stock. You can get in, you can get out anytime you want and take your gains. And there's a lot of benefits about warrants. Let me break this down for you. Warrants are attached to companies on the major exchange, which means you're not going to have to put up with any OTC BS because all of the warrants are on the major exchange as well. Now, what warrants are, um, think of them as promissory notes. No, better yet, think of them as coupons. You're buying these coupons really cheap right now, and they are good for like three to five years, and they guarantee that you can buy a share of the company stock at a discounted price, never to rise. So let's say the stock right now is 80 cents. When the price hits a dollar, the warrants go live, and that allows you to buy a share for $1.25. What? That's no deal. Stock's a buck and you want me to pay a buck 25? Well, you're right. It's not a deal. Not right now. So don't use it right now. You got three to five years to use it. So let's say two, three years down the road, the stock's at 12 bucks. Some news comes out. The thing rockets. I mean, you were tempted to do it at 12, but it rockets to $29. Now you want to exercise your warrant. So you grab a warrant, you grab a dollar twenty-five, and you exercise it. What do you get for it? You get one share of that company stock worth twenty-nine dollars. Actually, that's not true. You don't get a share of the stock. All they do is put the money in your account. You give them a dollar twenty-five, they put twenty-nine dollars in your account for every single warrant that you exercise. You see how much money you can make here. This is why Warren Buffett loves warrants because you can make a ton of money on them in the future. He'll invest a lot of money into a company knowing that his money is going to help that company to grow. And he'll say, now I want a bunch of free warrants. Warrants don't cost the company anything. They make money in the front door selling them and they make money in the back door when they get exercised. It's easy money for the company and it can be easy money for us as well. The great thing about warrants, when news comes out on the stock, the stock may go up 10%. The warrant will go up 50%, 200%, 2,000%. Yes, that's what we're talking about. A lot more gains on a lot less volume. The stock is needing millions of shares to run. The warrants, we're lucky if we're breaking 100,000 shares normally. So I've got some of these to share with you. I have got five warrants, I think, from the last couple of weeks. And there is no rhyme or reason here, folks. These things sometimes go up and come right back down. Sometimes they go up and keep climbing. Sometimes they take days to climb. There's no rhyme and reason, but there's lots of money to be had. Let me show you what I've got for you. So we're all set up over here at my free trading platform, Think or Swim, to do our due diligence and research. Nothing new for me. This is where I do most of my due diligence. So I've got five warrants I want to share with you. Particularly what I want to do is show you the company stocks chart and the warrants chart so that you can see how much harder, faster, and further a warrant will go on the exact same news in the same amount of time, giving us much bigger gains. Now, finding warrants is pretty easy and identifying them even easier. Warrants all have a W or WS at the end. 
Now, that's not to say every ticker with a W at the end is a warrant, but every warrant does have a W or WS at the end. Now, when I go looking for hot warrants, I do the same thing I do when I'm looking for hot penny stocks because they are hot penny stocks. I pull up a scan for the price zone that I'm interested in. And when it comes to warrants, I want cheap prices. So I'm looking for warrants under 50 cents or under 20 cents or under 10 cents. I want them really cheap. So there's a lot of room for them to grow. I'll pull up my scan, put it in order of the biggest gains at the top. And then I'll just go down the tickers here looking for a W at the end. Now, if you're not sure if the W is actually telling you it's a warrant, you can look over here at the description, the company's name, and it'll tell you warrant right in there. So I just want to show you a few of them here. This is STIXW. It is a warrant. 522% gains today. Oh, does that sound delicious. Then we've got SLNAW, Selena Hospitality. She went up 88% today. And then we've got Tris WS. That went up 66% today. Now, I really don't know much about these stocks. I'm going to have to do some due diligence. So I'm going to take these tickers and run over to the otcmarkets.com website where I do most of my research. And I'm going to drop it in and see which company this one is affiliated with. Once I figure that out, I'm going to go through the financials. I'm going to go through the press releases and the filings looking for that catalyst. So as I said, I've already got five warrants pulled up here from the last couple of weeks. So let's just jump on into this. Now, I've got a lot of information to share with you here, and I may bumble around a little bit. I may even have to do some splicing, so bear with me. So we are looking at Blade, ticker B-L-D-E, and her warrant, B-L-D-E-W. Just put that W on the end. So Blade had news come out on March 20th. The news, Blade Air Mobility announces $20 million share repurchase program. That's a hot catalyst. That's a legitimate catalyst that should get the charts moving. And it did. This is the 20th right here. We can see she had a nice rip on that day and even climbed the second day. But then she fell the next two days. Here on the 25th, she started to climb again. She got through her 200 and she's bouncing on that 50-day SMA all the way up. And it looks like she's still climbing. That looks really good. She started here at about $2.60 and she went up to $4.20. Now, let's just ballpark that and say that's about 60% gains. And she did that in about 10 days. Now, let's look at the warrant. This is the same day. That's the 20th. But the warrant did not respond positively to the news of this. It actually fell down to $0.09. Cents. Then, over the next three days, she went from $0.09 cents to $0.47. Cents. That is close to 500% gains in three days when this got 60% in 10 days. Which would you rather play? Right? Let's take a look at another one. This is ticker NXL. Her warrant's a bit strange. NXLIW. I don't know why there's an I in there. This company also had news come out. This was on April 2nd. This is Nexlin Technology. Nexlin announces the appointment of government affairs veteran William A. Hudson Jr. to military and government advisory board. There's your catalyst, whatever it's worth. Well, this is the day the news came out. Now, I could use that price at about 50 cents, but just to make it easy, I'm going to come down here just a few days before when we were at 35 cents on the low bubble. She hit $3.04 in about five, six days. $3.40 is virtually a thousand percent from here. We can't complain about that. Absolutely. But let's look at the warrant. On that day, this day here, the same day, we're at a low of 1.7 cents. Let's just round this up to two cents to make the math easy. She ran in about three days up to 56 cents. Two cents to 56 is... 2,800% gains. No, we don't have any problem with the 1,000% run, but wouldn't you rather have 2,800? Yeah, she fell back, but we're trying to catch these as she's climbing, not when they're falling. Checking out our next hot stock. This is ticker SLNA and her warrant, SLNAW. It's just that easy. Now, she had news today, so let's bring these charts down to five minutes so we can see what's going on a lot easier. 
Selena Management reaffirms its confidence in its strategy and highlights alignment with shareholders through equity ownership in the company. A real fancy way of saying that the management is buying shares of the company. So both of them, the warrant and the common stock had low bubbles yesterday. The common stock was just under four cents at 3.8 and she ran to just under 12 cents. So let's just say that's about 300% run. Looking at the warrant, we had a low bubble yesterday of double zero five. She hit a high of single zero two, which has given us a 400% run here. Now that's not a lot bigger than 300, but it is more and I like more. <laughs> let's take a look at the next one. And this one is exciting as well as strange. I don't quite understand it. Let me add a W to the end of this. So we actually have our warrant. All right, again, we are looking at our five minute chart. We had news that came out uh, today. The company is voluntarily delisting from the NASDAQ due to failure to meet the minimum bid price requirement. Now this is bad news. This should not have had anything climbing, but we see a lot of these dark catalysts get stocks and warrants running. What's a dark catalyst? bad news. You're getting kicked off the major exchange down to the OTC. Uh, you've just announced bankruptcy. You're doing a reverse split. Those are all bad news to the investors and you wouldn't expect a stock or the warrant to climb. Well, look what happened here. This is definitely bad news. And even the stock took a climb. Now it wasn't much, but she went up almost 9% today. And I wasn't expecting that. But what I really wasn't expecting was what the warrant did. We got a low bubble here of double zero one. She went all the way up to single zero five nine. Take away the zeros, folks. We're going from one to 59. Folks, that is almost 6,000% gains, well over 5,000% gains at her high today. So if you had bought $100 worth up here and got to sell up here, you would have made $5,000 off of your $100 investment. But chances are you couldn't sell up there because the uh, bid never really got that high. But once she pulled back and fell down here to four cents, you probably could have sold there. And if you weren't paying attention, she closed today. We're now at about a penny and a half. That's not much, is it? Sure it is. Don't get greedy. That is a thousand percent from where we were. Even after the big fall, we still had a thousand percent gains while the stock only did 9% today. And that last stock we're going to take a look at. This is ticker WINT. And of course, her warrant is going to be the same ticker with a W behind it. They had news come out yesterday. Wintry acquires early stage novel oncology platform and completes a $1.5 million convertible note bridge financing. All right, I think I'm gonna have to pull this out an hour because she was not getting a lot of volume here. So the news came out real late yesterday. You can see she jumped just after the bell at the beginning of the aftermarket. She went from about 40 cents up to 55 cents. So you're looking at roughly 35% gains there but it was real short lived, came right back down and even further, she was falling today. Well, look what happened over here. She didn't respond yesterday. She waited until this morning, today. She took off from, uh, let's call that, let's call it double zero one. And she went up to double zero nine. That is a 900% rip. Now, chances are you didn't get the sell up here because the bid never went that high. But then she fell back to what? Double zero five. And that's where our bid's at right now. Triple zero five to double zero five is a thousand percent run. And over here, we were at minus 10% today. This is incredible, folks. Warrants will do all sorts of crazy things. And the best thing you can do is get in the habit of looking at stocks that are not penny stocks. Look at stocks that are five, 10, $20 each because their warrants will be penny stocks. Just go through the news. Don't be picking what's hot and what's not. Just let the news be your guide. Find the warrant and then watch that warrant. And if you see it start to move, 
you better move quick because warrants move real quick. I like warrants, folks. Warrants can make you a lot of money in the front door. And if you hang on to them and you got yourself a hot company that's growing, 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 they can make you a lot of money down the road. I've shared some information with you, but there's a lot more out there, folks. I do have more videos out there about warrants and what you can do with them and how they work. Please, please feel free to watch them. And also, feel free to do your own due diligence. The more you know, the more you're going to grow. See ya.